Good morning, scholars and Steffelty, and to our families that are joining us. Hey, it is a beautiful Thursday on this May 12th, 2022. Y'all know what time it is. Let's go. start today all righty guys let's do our pacer expectations together now hey we choose to be respectful we are responsible we make right choices and scholars do we ever ever give up come on i want to hear you guys right there do we ever give up nah 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 now do we feel like giving up will we go through difficult and hard times in our lives, the answer is a resounding yes. That is guaranteed. Everybody will go through hard times in their life. Nobody is exempt from going through trials, through hardship, through times that life just isn't good at that time. But that does not mean that we have to hold our head low and give up. No, guys, we are learning to have a growth mindset. The mindset that even when things get hard, we are learning here at Almond. To have that mindset of being relentless and on relying on one another to keep pressing on right there, scholars. So let's go. All right, and of course, for today's joke of the day. Hey guys, what is a cat's favorite nursery rhyme? Three blind mice, three blind mice. <laughs> Man, three blind mice. Have you guys ever heard that that song before? It's pretty good right there, guys. All right. All right, guys. Well, this month's BU characteristic theme is on creativity, and it's using our imagination to create something or to solve a problem. Did you guys know that actually everybody is creative in their own unique way? Hey, it's kind of like our BU theme. When you are being you, not trying to be like someone else, but when you are being you, you have a very unique, not just thumbprint, right? Nobody else has your thumbprint in this world or ever will be. It is super unique to you. But you have a unique being, a unique personality that creativity comes out of that. Check out this video. When you hear the word creative, you might think of a painter or a playwright or an author or a photographer or a filmmaker or a chef. In other words, you might think of people who make things. I think it's what we mean when we use a label like creative type. But there's no such thing as creative type. We are all creative, every one of us. We just need a bigger definition of creativity. Yes, creativity involves making things, but it can also mean mashing up ideas in innovative ways. It can mean thinking differently about data and finding unique solutions to practical problems. It can mean hacking systems and tweaking things in unusual ways. It can mean exploring ideas and navigating information until you become an expert curator. It can mean designing systems that empower the creative work of others. It can mean creating change in the world by speaking truth and leading movements and interacting with people. See, each of these creative approaches shape our world in profound ways. And the more we see the creativity all around us, the more we are able to appreciate the creativity inside ourselves. Love that video right there, guys, because it just shows that creativity expands so much more than just somebody being able to do some kind of art, which is what we typically would say is somebody creative. It is so much deeper and wider, and I just, just want to celebrate, and I want you to know that, scholars, so that you can tap into that, knowing that you are so unique that you want to celebrate that and you want to um, grow in that. 
as you continue your um, adventure here. Check this out, Gary. I'm not sure if I'm um, stating this um, amazing human being's name correctly. Masaru Ibakwa. I may have said it incorrectly. But uh, this gentleman was actually one of the co-founders of the Sony company. Sony is an incredible company that has made an immense amount of electronics. You probably have seen them in all of the different stores. And so he had this very interesting thing to share. Creativity comes from looking for the unexpected and stepping outside of your own experience. I love that right there, guys, because uh, scholars, you, you may have ideas that somebody else d doesn't have. And I think that that is what's so great about coming together and learning scholars is that you are creative in yourself. The things that you have to share, the opinions, and the way that you look at situations could be so unique and creative right there. So I want to encourage every one of you to continue to be bold and to share those thoughts also in class. Alrighty. Looks like subtitles are not available. Alrighty, guys. Well, our last Express Yourself is tomorrow. That is it. Tomorrow will be our last Express to Yourself for all of the parents. Parents, and so I really hope that you come on out. We'll have it for our one hour tomorrow on Friday the 13th. Ho, 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 ho. All right, and we'll be uh, going over all the things that we've accomplished this year and looking ahead. It's going to be pretty sweet uh, right there. Hey, guys, tomorrow, guys, wear your tropical uh, palm trees, cool little leafy things, coconuts. Cool stuff like that, guys. It's going to be awesome. We're going to have our end of the year rally. I'm so excited for it. So looking forward to that right there. And last but not least, guys, hey, our next uh, PBIS Rewards uh, event is on Friday, tomorrow on the 13th. And so if you already purchased your ticket for Sonic the Hedgehog, make sure that you get a permission slip, guys. You, you will not be let in without a signed permission slip. Please pick those up in the front office and, and return those to the front office ladies. Appreciate it so much, y'all. And, and actually, we're going to be uh, viewing the, the uh, movie in the Raceway Inn. All righty, guys. Well, that is all the time that we have for today. Let's go ahead and make it a great day or not. The choice is always yours. Be you. Yeah.